Hey, look what we have here. Hello. Wait it's a sec, wait a sec, wait a sec. What? What's the deal here? What? Why are you dressed up like this? Oh, um, I actually just came back from school and it's a beautiful day out here. So, I'm going to get a chance to fly. And in Australia's winter. So, it'll be great. Yeah, this is the first day of winter, isn't it? Yep, first day of winter, June 1st. For Australians, for Americans, it's still 31st of May. Okay, let's make it happen. Okay guys, I've got the OSD back in the aircraft again now. It's all ready to go. The GoPro is ready to go. Um, we're going to try it out, do a bit of testing again with the OSD, make sure everything's working okay. And then if that all goes well, hopefully tomorrow we'll try a long range test and see how we go with it. So yeah. um, it's all back together. Let's make it happen. ER9X. <laughs> really just pick up I mean okay it's flying well but no I wouldn't have been to birds lots of birdies uh... on PA mode oh is it because it's stalling no, we're landing yeah that time that wasn't PA mode that's why it was dropping I know I was saying PA mode I guess I'm showing off the no a little too much Cool if you could do that, but anyway, let's see what Dad has to say about it. Okay, as soon as I engage return to home, it's actually losing altitude, and it actually makes sense. I've just put the radio gear in and everything now. I've got it all zeroed again, and when I flew the aircraft, it was losing altitude, so I had to apply a little bit of up elevator. So I've trimmed it out with a little bit of up elevator. So I think now that I've got my trims pretty much okay, what I need to do is reset the OSD now, so hopefully it'll actually fly correctly. So we're going to try that now. Okay, let me turn around. Okay guys, so I've, um, I've actually got it working pretty well. And return to home seems to be working fine. It's not losing altitude anymore. And the reason it's not losing altitude anymore... Yeah? ...is because I've actually reset the actual settings on it. Have a look at the radio, hands free. Hello. And it's actually coming back to us over there, you can see it there. Yeah. It's actually gaining a little bit of altitude. So what you need to do is actually have it trimmed out right before you calibrate the OSD. In control now. Loading. Okay. Look, it seems to be working really well. Um, the return to home is working fine. Straightening out. The only problem I'm having is I could probably do with the seat. And That's I think steady view. I think I'm facing the way the aircraft's flying, I think I am. You're not pointing into the aircraft, you're with the aircraft. I don't know, turning. Now you're into the aircraft dish. PA mode's on, it's stabilised. And we'll go back to Dave. Okay, on PA mode, I can see the, see the instrumentation really well. We're actually um, 50 kilometres an hour. Return to home is engaged. It's coming back home. We don't seem to be losing any altitude. It seems to be flying well. Gaining a little bit of altitude here. Pointing right into the sun, which is terrible. Oh. Okay. That's not a good beep. No, it's not. That means out of range. Out of good. Now it's coming back. Okay, we'll go down the other end of the park. It seems to fly better than the other end of the park. I can see better. Ah. Uh -huh. Probably because you're not facing the sun. It's a white car that went past us, is it? Yep. It's going past the roundabout now, is it? Yeah. Okay, I can see him. See, that's dad. Are we far away yet? Or not? Can you yeah, tell? of course you're far, but you can go further if you like. Why did it just turn? I turned it. Oh. Because it was a very snappy turn. PA mode. PA mode's really nice, it really stabilises as well. Get a good view of that. That's what it's like. That's like daddy vision. Or so I've got PA that's... mode on now, I can switch it back off again, I've got control again. Mm. If you do a switch, you'll be able to actually see it. Okay, ready, PA mode on. Actually, what I'll do... There you go, so you can see the PA... Um, I'm going to turn over the houses here. I'll do a sharp turn here. Yeah, the reason why... And PA mode. I'm not, I didn't correct that out of there. It did it itself and it's pulled up there. God, it's getting breezy, isn't it? Yeah, you might want to bring it down. That's it right there. The reason why I was filming the first person just before is because the plane was a bit far. And I think it would be boring you seeing the plane go out to nowhere. So you, instead you got FPV view. 
And a beautiful PA landing mode's on. it is. I'm landing with PA mode. Did it correct that? Yep. That was a PA mode landing. I was just using the elevator. That was really cool. It handled it quite well, so there was no real issues there. Time, there you go. Time for Thomas to have some fun now, I reckon. Yep. The tech and the other one. What's it called again? Kinetic. So now I forgot that. Because it's like the plane that I've had the longest flight time on. But anyway, we will be back.